Hi everyone. Today I'm here to talk about how to get a job as a software tester. I understand I completely know how the struggle will be and during the time we'll find the job it is very much hard and we don't know what way to follow and how to get a job we will today discuss from the very scratch how to start learning until the time we get the job we will completely discuss about it today so watch the video till the end and we will discuss all the things about it and if you have not if you're not following me on instagram please do follow me on instagram here the very first thing you have to keep in mind is that you must be very much clear about the manual testing concept basics so manual testing plays an important role because suppose if you are not able to answer questions such as what is this case and what is sdlc model what is stlc model these are the very basic thing that understanding should be there that is the first thing you have to keep in mind okay so during this process what you have to concentrate on is first thing is what is testing and why do we do testing okay and what is sdlc model what is stlc model what is regression testing ad hoc testing what is unit testing so these type of concepts you must be clear about so i have also made some of the videos on manual testing concepts you can watch them as well okay first the clarity towards the manual testing concepts is very much important so this is the first thing okay and coming to the resources that you can use to learn them is one is through the blogs and another one is through the youtube videos and here for how you have to learn is make a note of it okay you have to learn and then make a note of it so that you will not be uh, forgetting it first thing and another thing what you can do is you can always go to some of the courses so courses will also really help in case if you are uh, you know finding it hard to understand the topics okay otherwise youtube videos and blogs will be more than enough okay and the second thing what you have to learn is it is basics of sql why basics of sql why is because whenever we test any application right it is connected to the database and sometimes we will have to verify the database as well so that is the reason sql basics like select command and then how to update the record and then how do you uh, insert a record how do you delete a record all these basics and little joins okay all these it is best idea to learn and it is always uh, you know they prefer and they ask questions regarding to this and whenever you are in front of interviewer right you must be clear of whatever you have mentioned into your resumes we will also talk about it later okay so this is the second thing you have to keep in mind and third thing you have to learn api testing api testing is also basic is enough what is uh, api testing what are the different methods that we have in api testing like put method post method um, delete method all these methods on get method so these are the methods that are available in api testing so that you have to be clear and some of the response code like in high level it is good to understand that so little little about api testing would suffice okay and uh, apart from api testing there is another thing that you have to concentrate on which is some of the test management tools like jira so whenever you come to jira it is a complete test management tool using a uh, jira you can always you know uh, maintain your user stories you can maintain your epics you can maintain you can track your bugs but the thing is i have not seen uh, you know writing test cases through jira so uh, apart from that for that reason it is good to understand one tool like hp alf for the test case writing okay or else two test is there so these are the tools at least you just know the basics of it okay it is not like completely mandatory to know but once you get into the project whatever tools they are using that you definitely have to learn it okay so these are the four things that you have to keep in mind initially and after all this suppose if you have not got job so what is another added advantage the fifth thing what you have to remember is certification suppose if you are a fresher and you have time if you have that time gap you can cover it up by preparing for isdqb exams and also you can take up isdqb exams so this will be an added advantage over the other candidate suppose another candidate is also there but who is not having isdqb certification but you are someone who is having uh, same skill set with isdqb certification at that time it really helps you in grabbing the job okay over the other person so we discussed about the skill set one is manual testing database testing and then api testing and we also spoke about the test management tool what test management tool you can learn 
you can decide it and also i will uh, provide some of the test management tool in the description you can check it out and coming we, we also learned how the certification everything works right and right now you are well prepared now and how do you find the job that is the biggest question mark right so to answer the question uh, what i would suggest is first thing after you prepare well first thing you have to know what your strengths are what you are good at so as we mentioned today what topics we covered like manual testing concept data based testing concept and then uh, uh, api testing concept so pick some of the keywords from that okay and then put it in your resumes and then update it in naukri is there so you can always these are the approachable uh, or else uh, good tools or the good app applications to find a job first is the naukri one because i have almost uh, i have got jobs through naukri itself so i'm happy about naukri and uh, also another thing is linkedin so linkedin also works for many of them has got job via linkedin because you can directly connect through companies and like chats so that is the one good thing about linkedin so from there as well you can find the jobs and also another way is through the reference suppose if you ha- have a friend who is working in it so you can always you know prepare your resume and share it with them before itself so that whenever there is an opening you can ask them to refer you so that is another way so these are the ways that you can find a job one is the strong skill set and another way is to find a job via this best applications like now and linkedin this will definitely work and another way suppose if you have not got the job but still you are willing to work so what is the another way so now i'm going to discuss about it that is through freelancing so freelancing is another platform where you are just a free freelancer you are not tied up to any it organization it is just the piece of work that you get through the apps like there is freelancer toolancer and also i have talked about u test before so u test is also one of the usability testing platform where if you, whenever you find a defect then you will be paid for um, working for this hard if you work for this many hours then you will be paid for that so all these application and platform that you can use whenever you are idle okay rather than sitting idle you can learn through these platforms as well this is an added advantage whenever you are applying for job and whenever you are applying whenever you are giving into you that makes you a little more confident over the other fresher right so yeah this is all about i wanted to talk today so yeah this is all if you have liked the video please do like share and don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you for watching bye bye